Hello and welcome. My name is Jeremy Fulweiler, an experienced registered yoga teacher and wholesale therapist at Wellness Beyond Words. We will begin this gentle 12 minute floor yoga series lying on the floor. Send your awareness to the parts of your body that you find contacting the ground. Feel the ground holding you. And then allow your awareness to surround your breath, just noticing as it moves in and out. Next, as you inhale, raise your arms up overhead and then bring them back to your sides as you exhale. Continue like this, moving the arms up overhead on the inhale and returning them to your sides as you exhale. And when you get the hang of moving with your breath, you can also add your feet to this movement. While moving your arms, point your toes downwards as you inhale and flex them upwards as you exhale. Throughout this video, move with the flow of your own breath. That will actually be more beneficial to you than trying to match my breath pace. Now on your next inhale, leave your arms up overhead and feel yourself to be a long line of energy. Then bend this line gently by moving your right arm and right leg to the right a few inches and then bring your left arm and leg to meet them, all the while keeping your shoulders and hips flat on the floor. This can be surprisingly intense, so move gently. And now inhale back to a long line of energy and reverse this crescent moon shape to the left side. Breathe easily and notice how the breath changes the sensations you feel alongside your body. After you've come back to a long line, Bend your knees and then bring them up to your chest, gently hugging them. Rock easily from side to side now, waking up and massaging your back as you do so. And then bring your hands to your knees and as you inhale, move your knees towards the foot of your mat, but just as far as your arms can reach. And then when it's time to exhale, bring your knees back to the chest. Continue this a few more times. Your body here is like a billows in this moving pose. As you use your thighs to accentuate your breath's exhalation. You also receive a massage to your lower back and calm your nervous system as you compassionately awaken your pelvis. Now bring your feet back to the floor and then cross your left ankle over the top of your right thigh. And take a moment to feel the opening begin in your left hip. And then without using your hands, press your left knee downward toward the foot of your mat. Breathe into the growing sensations you feel in your hip. And if your body feels ready for further opening, 
you can inhale the arms up overhead and then thread your hands behind your right thigh, binding your thigh closer to your chest. You can also use a strap or tie to reach around the thigh. The goal here is not a fixed point or shape, but for you to find the right balance between comfort and effort. And now release the bind and bring both feet flat to the floor. Balance here a moment and then reverse the pose, crossing your right ankle at the top of your left thigh. Take a couple breaths again before engaging any further effort. Feeling here for the minimum edge. It's that point in a pose where you just begin to feel the opening. Breathe into the sensation before moving your right knee further towards the foot of your mat. And after a couple breaths, you can go more deeply into the pose. If you cease to feel the pose, open your hip, taking the, behind, the bind behind your left thigh. Emphasize your exhalation in these hip openers, gradually freeing yourself of unneeded tension in the body's memory. And now bring your feet back to the mat, keeping your knees bent. Move your feet outwards towards the edge of your mat. And as you exhale, release both knees over to the left side. And then as you inhale, raise them back up. And then release them back over to the right side on your next exhale. Continue this a few more times. It's like a windshield wiper movement. And eventually, just let your knees stay released over to the left side for about three breaths. You can tuck your shoulder blades underneath, underneath you and look over your right shoulder for a more complete opening. This is a gentle twist for the spine and a wonderful opening for the front of the hips. Breathing into the sensation and on the exhale, emphasizing the quality of release. And then inhale the knees back up and release them over to the right side. Again, tucking the shoulder blades under the back and looking over your left shoulder. And breathe easily and notice the opening in your psoas, the muscle running up along the front of your left hip. If you'd like to feel that a bit more, just edge your left foot a bit further to the left. The psoas is a very significant muscle for a number of reasons. One is it's the only muscle that runs from the lower body into the upper body. And it's also a muscle that's easily triggered by stress or trauma also just tightened by staying seated for long periods of time throughout the day. And now we will move the practice further into the core of the body. So inhale the knees back on up and bring both hands behind your head. On your next exhale, press your lower back down into your mat, feeling the curve in your lower back, your lumbar curve, flatten out. And then on the following inhale, 
exaggerate the upwards arching of the spine, reaching your breastbone and belly button upward while you keep your tailbone planted on the floor. Continue this deliberate movement of the spine, repeating the lower back pressing down on the exhale and the front of the torso reaching upwards on the inhale. And then after two or three repetitions, you can add the upper body, lifting your head and shoulders on the exhale, supporting the weight of your head with your hands. And again, on the inhale, reverse the curve. You can even engage the tailbone on your exhale, letting your tailbone curve up as your head and shoulders curve up. These movements strengthen the abdominal muscles, as well as your ability to move with integration from the core. They also gently stoke the fire in your belly. In yoga, we refer to this fire as anyi, the digestive fire that further helps transmute past challenges and a fuel for meaningful growth and expansion. Continue this pose, finding the edge of the challenge. And now once again, allow your body to lay flat on the floor. Extend a little extra through both legs and tuck the shoulder blades further behind you as if they're hugging your spine. And you'll feel an opening across the front of your chest. And also slightly tuck your chin to support you in lengthening behind your neck. Give yourself several breaths here to notice what sensations you feel in your body now. If you are going to continue for further yoga practice or exercise, move into those practices with the same commitment to awareness. If you're not continuing with further yoga or exercise, give yourself a few additional minutes to let go of all effort, physical, energetic, mental, and emotional, just resting in Shavasana with what remains. Thank you for joining me in this practice. Namaste.